Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Tom Spark. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about which is better, uh, Jellyfin or MB. Here is MB and here is Jellyfin. I have extensive experience testing out both of these for my media server that runs with the classic R things, stuff like sonar, radar, and prowler. Which one of these is better to use for that kind of setup for streaming your at-home media server? We're going to be discussing that in this video. Now guys, if you're looking for a proxy or a VPN to encrypt and hide your traffic while torrenting, you've come to the right place. I'm the only YouTube channel that I know that has an extensive rating table and spreadsheet where I've rated pretty much every single VPN provider and the services they provide. Here is my tier list. You could check it out at vpntierlist.com. I would specifically recommend TorGuard as an excellent choice for torrenting and anonymizing your kind of traffic because they do offer a SOX5 proxy with their core VPN plan. If you use code TOMSPARK2023, you could get 50% off this and use the SOX5 proxy in pretty much every application that supports SOX5. It's especially useful for stuff like Qubit Torrent to anonymize your IP, but not degradate your speeds. All right, guys, if you're also interested, I have some of my other favorite privacy products listed here on vpinterialist.com. All right, guys, now just to be clear, I'm not sponsored by MB or Jellyfin or even TorGuard for that matter. This channel does not accept sponsorships and we not don't even have any ads. We simply make money by affiliation with various companies. So anytime you click and support those products, you'll help support the channel too in the most honest way possible. But now let's go ahead and talk about these two different providers. Now MB is a media streaming program. Um, the way I do believe it is, is that they have a premium plan, which is a kind of a plan that gives you a couple extra things. With a 25 device limit, you also can schedule certain recordings, um, have offline media, take advantage of your GPU, have kind of cinema intros, MB theater, um, you can even run this on your, your game devices, it seems. Various backup features, smart home, and some of those things with cool cover art. Um, so they do kind of have a recurring subscription model. And that's something you can take advantage of if you want. That said, they also have a one-time fee of $5. Um, you could either choose that to gain access to kind of the basic model or choose MB Premier. Now, for most people, I do believe the basic model is more than sufficient. Um, and I found that it works perfectly fine for a one-time fee of $5. Now, on the other hand, we have Jellyfin, a popular open source. So keep in mind, both of these are open source. Jellyfin is actually an offshoot of MB, kind of taking the same kind of stuff, but providing it more as a free, completely free service. Now, at first glance, this seems to be really good. And that's what I thought. And I used Jellyfin for around two years. I don't know if you guys noticed, but you can zoom in here and you can see a little bit gray in my hair. That's actually from Jellyfin. Now, Jellyfin, it does have a pretty good reputation. But that said, using it day to day, I've come up with a lot of issues, which as spoiler has made me migrate to MB. And I wish I would have done it sooner. One of the issues I have with Jellyfin is just a constant kind of lag. There's been a sort of issue, despite the Wi-Fi connection I have, where if I'm watching something, it will kind of pause, it will resume the audio, but the video does not resume. This is a very annoying issue, and I can't figure out what causes it. I've seen other people with the same issue, and it could just be a small little bug within Jellyfin they haven't fixed yet. Keep in mind, this project doesn't really run on any money, and that is one of the downsides to kind of this open source software. Um, but the thing is, is MB is also open source, but Jellyfin is free. So they're not really making any money, and I do believe when using the product, that does kind of show. Another interesting thing that I prefer MB for is that there's better app support. Whether you're on iOS, on Android TV, or even Apple TV, there's a fully fledged MB application that you could take advantage of and use. Let me go ahead and find that. Now, for some reason, the application doesn't have the best ratings. Uh, it's only 41 ratings though, and they probably don't pay for any ratings like most companies do. Um, but I found the application very good. Um, I really like having an application for um, iOS on Apple TV and the NVIDIA Shield that you could just download and get working. Jellyfin doesn't have a native app for iOS or the Apple TV. Technically, what you'll have to use is an application called Infuse. Now, this application actually has a much better rating than MB, but I've found that it is not as good. 
The thing about Infuse is that it also has a subscription price. It's around $1 a month or $12 a year, whereas MB is a $5 upfront charge. So Infuse is actually more expensive than MB long term, although you can get it working with Jellyfin. That said, I've found that there is definitely a lot more issues here. Uh, one thing is is that navigating to add the server can definitely be a little bit confusing and there's also other issues I just haven't really ran into with MB. One of the things I like about MB is that from the beginning of using it, it just simply works. Um, pretty much what happens is you set your server up. All right, so now we are on my other server here and I'm going to be recording the footage there to show you guys. Um, so let's go ahead and bring up MB. We're going to go down here. Uh, browse the eyes here. Now the thing I like about MB is for one it has a very good interface like I said but primarily the setup process is just so good. So if you go to the settings you could see right here it's immediately giving me my in-home LAN access. It's showing me the IP and the port to configure even though I didn't even need that. It just automatically picked it up and I entered in the username and password that I created when setting up MB. Now, probably my favorite thing about MB so far is that I really haven't really had to mess with it so much. I don't know what it was with Jellyfin, but it just seems like I was constantly tinkering and trying to figure out some problem or another and navigating into the complicated settings menu just to try to get it working. And I've never really had that with MB. All right, guys, so that is my take on MB versus Jellyfin. I do prefer MB. I think it's better, has better app support. Um, there seems to be less issues with the bugs regarding freezing and stuff like that. The setup process is easier. It's easier to see your IP and connect and stuff like that. Um, it, when you download the, the clients on various things like Apple TV or um, Google Play, um, right away it just detects your server and lets you log in. Very simple and it just works really well. All right guys, thanks for checking out this video and I'll see you again very soon.